Adolf Hitler is one of the most notorious figures in history, known for his role as the leader of the Nazi party and the mastermind of the Holocaust. He was also a man with a complex and controversial personal life, which influenced his decisions and actions as a dictator. In this video, we will explore some aspects of Hitler's personal life, such as his loves, hobbies, and health problems. Before our discussion begins, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Thank you very much. Hitler's Loves Hitler never married, but he had several relationships with women throughout his life. The most famous and longest-lasting one was with Eva Braun, a young and loyal secretary who worked for Hitler's photographer. They met in 1929, when Hitler was 40 and Braun was 17, and became lovers in 1932. Braun was devoted to Hitler and often tried to cheer him up with her cheerful and lively personality. She also shared his passion for photography and film, and often accompanied him to his mountain retreat, the Berghof, where they spent most of their time together. Braun was aware of Hitler's political and military affairs, but she did not interfere or question his decisions. She was also isolated from the outside world and had few friends, as Hitler was very possessive and jealous of her. Braun attempted suicide twice, in 1932 and 1935, to get Hitler's attention and commitment, but he never proposed to her. They only got married in the last days of the war, on April 29, 1945, in the Führer bunker in Berlin, and committed suicide together the next day. Hitler had other lovers before and during his relationship with Braun, such as Jelly Robel, his half-niece, who lived with him in his Munich apartment from 1929 to 1931. Hitler was very fond of her and treated her like a daughter, but he also controlled and restricted her movements and social life. Robel was unhappy and depressed, and she shot herself in Hitler's apartment in 1931, at the age of 23. Hitler was devastated by her death and kept her room unchanged for years. Some historians have speculated that Hitler and Robel had an incestuous relationship, but there is no conclusive evidence for this claim. Another lover of Hitler was Maria Reiter, a 16-year-old girl who met Hitler in 1926, when he was visiting the town of Berchtesgaden. They had a brief affair, but Hitler soon lost interest in her and moved on to other women. Reiter also attempted suicide, but survived and later married another man. Hitler also had affairs with actresses and singers, such as Renata Muller, Lenny Riefenstahl, and Zara Leander, who admired his charisma and power. However, these relationships were mostly superficial and short-lived, as Hitler did not have much time or interest for romance. He also avoided public displays of affection and intimacy, as he wanted to maintain his image as a strong and celibate leader. Hitler's Hobbies Hitler had several hobbies and interests that he pursued in his spare time, especially when he was at his mountain retreat, the Berghof. One of his hobbies was painting, which he had learned as a young man in Vienna and Munich, where he had tried to become an artist. He painted landscapes, buildings, and still lifes, mostly in watercolors, and sometimes gave them as gifts to his friends and associates. He also collected paintings by other artists, especially German and Austrian ones, such as Albrecht Dürer, Hans Holbein, and Franz von Stuck. He also admired Italian Renaissance art, and planned to build a museum in Linz, his hometown, to display his collection. However, he also despised modern art, such as Expressionism, Cubism, and Surrealism, and considered them degenerate and Jewish. He ordered the confiscation and destruction of thousands of artworks that did not fit his taste, and organized an exhibition of degenerate art in 1937 to mock and ridicule them. 
Another hobby of Hitler was reading, which he had developed as a child and continued throughout his life. He read a wide range of books, from history and biography to philosophy and fiction. He was especially interested in the history and mythology of Germany and the Nordic countries, and the works of Friedrich Nietzsche, Arthur Schopenhauer, and Richard Wagner. He also read books on military strategy, political theory, and racial science, which influenced his worldview and ideology. He had a large library of books, which he kept in his various residences and offices, and often quoted and referenced them in his speeches and writings. He also liked to discuss books with his associates and guests, and sometimes gave them books as gifts or recommendations. Hitler also enjoyed watching movies, which he considered a powerful medium for propaganda and entertainment. He watched movies almost every night, either in his private cinema at the Berghof, or in other locations, such as the Reich Chancellery, the Wolf's Lair, or the Fear Bunker. He preferred movies that depicted German history and culture, such as The Triumph of the Will, The Great King, and Kohlberg, which were made by his favorite filmmakers, such as Lenny Riefenstahl, Veit Harlan, and Wolfgang Liebeniner. He also liked movies that showed foreign cultures and exotic locations, such as The Thief of Baghdad, The Four Feathers, and King Kong, which he found amusing and fascinating. He also watched movies that were banned or censored in Germany, such as Gone with the Wind, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, and Casablanca, which he obtained through his contacts and agents. He sometimes commented on the movies he watched, praising or criticizing them, and sometimes gave suggestions or orders to the filmmakers. Hitler also had a passion for architecture, which he considered an expression of the spirit and greatness of a nation. He studied architecture as a hobby, and drew sketches and models of buildings and monuments that he wanted to build or renovate. He had a grand vision of transforming Berlin into a new capital, called Germania, which would rival the ancient cities of Rome and Athens. He hired his personal architect, Albert Speer, to design and oversee the construction of various projects, such as the Reich Chancellery, the Volkschau, and the Führer's Palace. He also planned to rebuild other German cities, such as Munich, Nuremberg, and Hamburg, and to create new cities, such as Welthauptstadt Germania, in the conquered territories. However, most of his architectural plans were never realized, due to the outbreak of the war and the lack of resources and manpower. Hitler also liked to spend time outdoors, enjoying the natural beauty and fresh air of the mountains and forests. He liked to go for walks, hikes, and drives, accompanied by his dogs, his staff, or his guests. He also liked to watch and feed the animals, such as deer, foxes, and birds, that lived near his mountain retreat. He also liked to ski, swim, and boat, although he was not very good at these sports. He also played some indoor games, such as chess, checkers, and cards, but he was not very fond of them, as he hated to lose. Hitler's Health Problems Hitler suffered from various health problems throughout his life, which affected his physical and mental condition. Some of his health problems were inherited, such as a tremor in his left hand, which was caused by a genetic disorder called Parkinson's disease. Some of his health problems were acquired, such as a chronic stomach ulcer, which was caused by stress and a poor diet. Some of his health problems were inflicted, such as a partial blindness in his left eye, which was caused by a mustard gas attack during World War I. Some of his health problems were self-induced, such as a drug addiction, which was caused by his excessive use of medications and injections. Hitler was very concerned about his health, and often complained and worried about his symptoms and ailments. He consulted many doctors and specialists, who gave him various diagnoses and treatments, often contradictory and ineffective. 
He relied mostly on his personal physician, Theodore Morrill, who prescribed him a cocktail of drugs and hormones, which included opiates, cocaine, amphetamines, steroids, and animal extracts. These drugs gave Hitler a temporary boost of energy and confidence, but they also had harmful side effects, such as insomnia, paranoia, mood swings, and hallucinations. They also made him more dependent and addicted, and less rational and coherent. Hitler's health problems worsened as the war progressed, and as he faced more defeats and challenges. He became more isolated and detached from reality, and more prone to fits of rage and despair. He also became more suspicious and distrustful of his associates and generals, and more paranoid and delusional about his enemies and conspirators. He also became more suicidal and fatalistic, and more determined to fight to the end, regardless of the consequences. His health problems ultimately contributed to his downfall and death, as he was unable to cope with the situation and to make sound decisions. Conclusion Hitler's personal life was a complex and controversial one, which influenced his personality and actions as a dictator. He had several relationships with women, but he never found true love or happiness. He had several hobbies and interests, but he also had a distorted and destructive vision of art and culture. He had several health problems, but he also had a reckless and addictive behavior. He was a man of contradictions and extremes, who left a lasting and tragic mark on history. Thank you for watching. To support this channel, don't forget to click like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. See you in the next video.